Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, we've got the number five ranked Jacksonville Dolphins on a five game winning streak hosting the Elkhorn State Braves. They're on a two game winning streak. Braves started the season 0 and 3. Jacksonville started off the season with a loss. And let me get this shared in the Discord. Go ahead and join our Discord if you're not in there already. Get your college career started in the offseason for one of our 12 schools here in the FCS Dynasty. And let's see. Slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And let's see what we got going on here. Let's get that graphic off the screen. Here's the team comparisons. Who did Jacksonville lose to? I forget. I'm sure Marvin knows. Marvin, you in the chat? I'm sure you are. Let me pull that chat up real quick. See all you beautiful people. Of course, there's an ad on my video. Fantastic. Frank in the chat. Slim Chris, what's up? Tyler Rocky in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well here today. And there's Marvin Joseph. He's in the chat. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> JU lost to Savannah State 58-18. So that's, that's a tough loss. Because Savannah State, I mean, they've lost three times this season. Really rough year for them. But the Dolphins did rebound pretty well after that, winning against uh, Southwest Missouri State, 126-7, FCS point record in a game. They beat Southern 79-21. They, they know how to put up points here in Jacksonville, Florida, and that's exactly what we're going to do here today. But of course, if you look at the combined opponent's record up in the top middle, they don't really have a whole lot of uh, good, good opponents here. Prairie View A&M and Richmond, that is it. Everybody else has a losing record except for Alabama AM, and m who is 3-3 three and three on the season. So it's it's a bit rough. Do we have anybody on the Heisman? I think Michael Hines is on the Heisman watch list here for JU, and he is. He's currently sitting in the number two spot. Over 1,500 passing yards on the season, 700 rushing yards, 30 total touchdowns. He has been just an absolute monster this season. Look at his career numbers so far. 70 touchdown passes in his career. And you can see uh, his completion percentage taking a little bit of a dip since his freshman year. But, you know, we're working on it. Rushing yards, he got 1,000. Uh, 175 his freshman season and took a dip of about 350 yards in his sophomore season. But it looks like he's probably going to get 1,000 yards here again this season. He's got more touchdowns this year than the other two seasons as well. And let's not forget his 80-yard touchdown reception in season number one. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's going on, Ron? My Sweet Revenge. Audrey in the chat. Jay Washington. Seven-point favorites tonight, huh? Okay. Chaos Driven in the chat. My brother. All right, guys. Let's do it. I'm ready. Uh-oh. Marvin. Hope you're ready for this one, buddy. Little Mike in the chat. What's going on, little Mike? Oh boy, Zane Williams, obviously subscriber, outside linebacker. He broke curfew by almost two hours this week. A few students spotted him downtown hanging out with some friends. All right, Marvin, what do you want me to do with him here? Let's see how much one game is. Oh my goodness. Had a handful of suspensions here this season for Jacksonville. Kind of uncharacteristic for them, especially with uh, Mr. Highlight getting suspended, Marcus Pedersen. And now Zane Williams, all of these star players that have been in this series and on the Dolphins for the series' entirety. Two quarters, Marvin. I got you, buddy. Marvin Joseph, of course, is Lucky7 in the chat. He is the head coach of the Dolphins. He controls them. Obviously not on the field. That's all me. But he controls every other aspect of this team. All right. All right, what do we want to wear here, Marvin? You want to go with the gray pants? Do you want to go with just the regular home? Gunny in the chat. What's up, Gunny? How you doing, Bunny? How are you doing? You just finished the main story of Ghost of Tsushima. That game looks absolutely phenomenal. Like, I would never play it because I don't have that kind of time. But I will sit here and I will watch somebody play it. Gold pants? I got you, Marvin. Let's do it. Elkhorn State Braves. Jacksonville Dolphins. SEC action. Now, the Dolphins do have Mr. Highlight back for this ballgame. Let's see how that affects the offense, see how many times I try to force the passes to him, and see how many picks I throw. Hopefully none. But Marcus Pedersen, he's still out, so we're going to be seeing Jack Sims 
in there at strong safety, I believe. Let's get it. We taking the ball first. T Roy Gaines and Mr. Highlight back to return. The opening kickoff, and we're underway here in Jacksonville, Florida. Here is T Roy Gaines, a true freshman halfback. And he's got some blockers. Oh, nifty little spin there up to the 25 yard line. Let's take a look at the Jacksonville offense led by junior quarterback Michael Hines, number four. He's backed up by number 13, Nolan Connor, the true sophomore. In the backfield, Jukes McGee, Nelson McRae, and T. Roy Gaines. The last two are true freshman halfbacks. And Tyler Matthews is at fullback. Go over the rest here in a second. Christian Hart, one on one. That's the big time tight end, and he's got it inside the 40 yard line. Big play. Already a 35 yard reception. And just an effortless throw right there. My goodness. Wyatt Geddes in the chat. What's going on, Wyatt? Long time. Wyatt, long time no see. My goodness, I can't even talk. Receiving core, Mr. Highlight, Jermaine Marshall, and Deshaun Harris, as well as Jeremy Mosley, even though he left the Discord. He'll be gone after this season unless he rejoins. Uh, tight end, Christian Hart, and Greg Ward Jr., the true freshman. Going to keep going play action here. And Michael Hines, look out. He's got speed, and he's got Six touchdown, Ju. Yeah, buddy. Hammer Jammer in the chat. What's up, Hammer? How you doing, brother? Ozzy Sands uh, for the extra point. It's up, and it is good. 7-0 early. Just 29 seconds off the clock from the Dolphin offense. Michael Hines, a great throw, and then an even better run. His 15th touchdown run of the season. The guy is just unstoppable. How do you guard that? You can't. over the defense here in a moment. Marvin, do you want me to put Jack Sims at strong safety for this game? I don't know why he's not there. Nice little play action. And Montgomery almost has the interception. And here is the defense for Jacksonville. Bunch of defensive linemen here. Parker Palmer, Zach Allen, Frank Frazier, and Ryan Richardson. Linebacking core is Zane Williams. Nice deflection. Oh, my goodness. Allen Davis is such a beast. Devin Rambo and Marcus Barnes at middle linebacker for JU. And in secondary, Allen Davidson and Marvin Joseph Jr. at corner. Malik Bean at free safety. Jack Sims is the backup free safety. Marcus Pedersen is the strong safety. But he is suspended for the ball game. And that is going to bring up third down and five now. That's a bit unfortunate. All right. Your college football is dead, though. It's all good. We got FCS. That's all we need. Nice catch by Causey. And that's going to be a first down for the Braves. Now, their offense has been pretty nasty so far in this series. A lot of speed. They, I think the first season they had two receivers that had like 95 speed. So hard to defend that. Oh, what a cutback. Didn't get anything on it. I don't know if you heard me or not, Marvin, but 
Do you want me to put Jack Sims at strong safety? Get some more speed out here in the secondary. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's going on, Bill? Hope you're doing well, buddy. All right, they're down in seven. Quarterback is in the zone. Watch out for the scramble. Crowd going crazy. Play action. Oh, I went the wrong way. Townsend's going to have the first down. Sims is fine where he is. That corner. All right, bet. Oh, this is Montgomery. Random computer player for the win. Dramatica for MVP. Wrong series, Wyatt. <laughs> There's the sack. Parker Palmer with his first of the game. Let's go. That's a loss of six for the Braves. All right. Second down and 16. Crowd going crazy again. Quick pass deflected, and that was Devin Rambo. Sophomore middle linebacker. And yeah, let's go nickel here. And quick pass to Jordan, and he's got speed. Look out. Oh my goodness. That's what I was afraid of going up against Alcorn State. They have so much speed everywhere. And those are four subscriber players trying to track him down. Give Malik Bean the ball. No. <laughs> That's just what we need to hurt our free safety. Crowd going wild. First down at 10. And a nice cut back, but that's going to be a loss. Devin Rambo injured his shoulder on the play. Oh, my goodness. So now we're down a strong safety. We're down an outside linebacker, both by suspension. And now we're down a middle linebacker. So all we got left is Marcus Barnes at middle linebacker currently. He's actually at right outside linebacker. And a quick pass. It's caught by Freeman. Oh my goodness, the speed is just outrageous. I knew these guys were going to give us a fit here tonight. Fifth best team in the red zone, 93% conversion rate. You'll love to see it. They can't hear a thing. Quick pass and incomplete overthrown. Should do a UFC league from a video game on PS3. I plan to eventually. I got ideas, man. Washington, 370 yards, two touchdowns, no picks on the season. I'm assuming he was suspended for the first few games. Or injured, possibly. A nice tackle there from Marcus Barnes. People be sleeping on Elkhorn State. They sure do. The Braves are a solid team. They're 3-3 three of three on third downs already in the game. Get him! Get him, Montgomery. Oh, what a hit on the quarterback. Sit down, son. Who got him? I don't even know who hit him. All right, so we do get the stop. Fourth down and five. They're going to go for a field goal here. 28-yard attempt for the Braves. Kick is up and good. 7 to 3 now. That was 15 play, 69 yard drive, 3 minutes, 11 seconds off the clock. A huge stop for the JU defense holding them to a field goal. Jacksonville's offense is only on the field for two plays on the previous drive and went 70 plus yards for the score. T Roy up to the 19 yard line. Oh, 
Oh boy. That play was dead from the start. That's a feels bad. Right, let's go quarterback choice, which is basically read option. Jukes McGee in there at halfback. Okay. Great. <laughs> the right tackle did not pull fast enough. That's unfortunate. They're down at 14 for the Dolphins. And Mr. Highlight has it. Does he have enough? He got it. Oh my goodness. What a throw and what a catch from Mr. Highlight in his return from suspension. Hitting the Dolphins the first down. What a play. Oh boy. How did I get away from that? And McGee almost caught that. Unbelievable. Second down and 10. Let's just give it off to a halfback here. I think McCray is in there. And he is, number 29. Bouncing around, runs a man over. Nice block down the left sideline. McCray with a juke. Does he have the speed? McCray inside the 10. Touchdown, J.U. Beautiful play. Oh, my goodness. I did not think he was going to win that foot race right there. J.P. Parker in the chat. What's up, J.P.? How you doing, buddy? Oh, my goodness. And it's an offsides. Extra point, up and good. So, so far, two very long drives, and the Dolphins have only had the ball on offense for about a minute and 40 seconds. And they've got 14 points to show for it. Seven plays of offense, and 140 yards. It's high quality right there. All right, they're going to deal that down in the end zone. Start the drive with their own 20-yard line. The last drive was really good. They didn't get the result they wanted to. At least they got some points on the board. I miss Marcus Pedersen. I miss him. Oh, my goodness, what a tackle. And now Nate Jones, the backup linebacker, filling in for Devin Rambo has fallen down. He is injured. Just can't catch a break with these injuries this past week or two. Second down and 12 for the Braves. Crowd going bananas. Good pass right side. It's caught. And let's see. Livingston still going. He's gone. Oh my goodness gracious. What an unbelievable play. Touchdown for the Braves. Unbelievable. All right. Try to rebound after that. Let's go highlight. Let's go highlight. Let's 
Mr. Highlight. That's the 40. Mr. Highlight is gone. Touchdown, Dolphins. There's no flags on the field. It counts. Let's go. That is a beautiful thing, folks. Jay Bomber in the chat. What's up, Jay? How you doing, buddy? I think I have uh, single-digit touchdown returns to the right side on kickoffs in this entire series. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. Jones out for the game with a strained pectoral. Looks like Devin Rambo is back in there though at middle linebacker. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we tackle please? Thank you Malik Bean running across the entire field to make the stop. Yes, yeah, so Devin Rambo is back in the ball game. And that was the final play of the first quarter. Dolphins on top 21 to 10 over the Elkhorn State Braves here in Jacksonville, Florida in SEC play. Quick pass left side and that is overthrown. Receiver never saw it. That was Marcus Barnes, number 53 out in coverage. Oh boy. Oh, Montgomery swatting it down. Get that weak sauce out of here, son. Malik Bean for Heisman. Something wrong with you, Wyatt. <laughs> I doubt we'll ever see a defender get the Heisman in this series. That would be awesome, though. Oh my goodness gracious. These guys are insane. Electric offense for sure, JP. These guys are just ridiculous. Oh, Malik Bean laying him out. First and goal, though. Their offense is just moving with ease right now here in the second. Feels bad. This reminds you of high school football. Oh, yeah, the poor tackling. Is that it? Quarterback in the zone for the Braves. Get him. Oh, Sims with the deflection. Okay, there. I see. Good play by the freshman. Five star freshman free safety. Washington, 8 of 16, 215 yards and a score here in the first half. Oh, how did he get that pitch off? But what a hit by Bean, saving the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable effort by the junior free safety. Crowd going absolutely bananas. Play action. Nope, they're going to hand it off. And nobody can get there. Feels real bad. Feels real bad. All right, so back to a one-score ball game, guys. Twenty-one seventeen. Five oh eight left in the first half. 
haven't already, please slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason for this series. Oh, T-Roy up past the 30. Let's go. He wanted one for himself. Quick pass. Caught by Marshall. And the wide receiver screen gets us up to the 46-yard line. That could have been terrible, but it worked out pretty well for the Dolphins. Throw it up, Deshaun Harris one-on-one, -on -one, and Harris can't get there. What a deflection by the corner. I'm getting weird with it here. Doing a toss play. To Nelson McCray. Get that block. Let's go. Let's go, Nelson. Nelson. Down to the 23-yard line. Two carries, and he's averaging 47 yards per carry. Oh my goodness. What a beast. Let's see if we can get the ball to Christian Hart, the junior tight end. He is in the zone on this play. Looks to be zone coverage. Oh boy, I can't see, I couldn't see the receiver because of Tyler Matthews' icon above his head, <laughs> so I couldn't tell if Hart was covered or not. Awkward. Number three team in the land in the red zone, 95%. That's pretty good. That is pretty dang good, I tell you what. Let's go Jukes. Jukes McGee, touchdown, J.U. Extra point from senior kicker Quasi Sands is up and it is good. It's going to be a high scoring affair, folks. 28 17 in the second. Yeah, they didn't want any smoke from Marvin Joseph Jr. right there. Nice deflection. Allen Davidson just laying out for it. He is my number one rated cornerback for the EFL draft. Which will be happening after season one of the EFL, of course. Which takes place after the FCS season is over. Deep shot. Davidson one on one. He's not the best man coverage guy, especially against speedsters like Livingston. Oh my goodness. Needed some safety help there. I'm not sure where Malik Bean went. He just kind of stayed in the middle of the field. Oh boy. Allen Davidson, definitely a zone coverage kind of cornerback, which is pretty evident on that play. Not the fastest, but he can cover zone real well. Now my number two cornerback is Chris Numa for Savannah State. He's the exact opposite. Numa is just, he's just got blazing speed. And he's a great man coverage guy. But zone, he has a hard time in zone coverage. 
T-Roy Gaines, he's pumped up, he's ready to go. Let's get it. Oh, he gets to the outside, look out. Oh, T-Roy again up past the 30. Man. Dolphins coming out for just their 13th play on offense in the ballgame. Got to recruit more speed on defense. Just a little bit, Marvin. Just a little bit, buddy. What do we got here? What do we got? Highlight. And he's got him. Down to the 10-yard line. Let's go. 176 yards total in the first half for Michael Hines. Beautiful throw. Just a beautiful throw. And now Hines is in the zone. You love to see it. <laughs> Gloves Malone is the best cornerback in the country. He's top five. He's definitely top five. But again, he's more straight line speed. Oh boy. Oh, Michael Hines! He did him dirty! Touchdown, Dolphins! My goodness. Disgusting. You think he's gonna win the Heisman, Tyler? He could. He's number two right now. Extra point up and good from Quasi Sands. My goodness. 35-24. Come on, Marcus. Let's get a big hit, buddy. Okay. Okay, Alexander Connor, the backup quarterback with the tackle. You love to see the young man out there on special teams making plays. Hines and Highlight having a game of who's better out here. Kind of. Nice little competition. That's how all the, the great teams did it. Got to compete on the practice field before you can compete on game day. They're going to go play action here. And a nice deflection by Sims. There's going to be a flag for a holding. All right, first down and 20 after the holding. We're going to go play action. Quick pass. And Davidson leaves his feet. What is he doing? Very uncharacteristic of him. He's got great awareness, so I'm not sure... You know, what the play was there. Four catches, 190 yards, two touchdowns for Livingston. Just tearing it up. Another quick pass. And Davidson not fast enough. These, these Braves are just so fast. Right, I'm going to go 3-4 here. Switch it up a little bit. Pass over the middle and too much traffic just bounces to the dirt. Oh my goodness, that should have been a pick for Montgomery. If that was Pedersen, that was a pick. Just saying. My goodness, Sims with the tackle, but I think Causey got the first down. No, he didn't. Fourth and inches. What a stop by the freshman. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure he got that, but, you know, we'll just keep it moving here. Lawson almost got there. 
Fair catch at the 15 yard line by Mr. Highlight. Quick strike, Mr. Highlight, look out. Highlight down the left sideline and pushed out of bounds at the 40. What a great route that was. He's just so good at everything he does. Okay, missed that block, but it's all good. And Hines inside the 20-yard line, 84 yards for the quarterback, two touchdowns in the ballgame. Two red zone trips, two touchdowns for JU. And Hines is gone again. Touchdown, J.U. This offense is disgusting. Fozzie Sands, extra point up, and it is good. 42-24 in the second quarter. If Elkhorn State can get some defense in the next year or so, that team is going to be disgustingly good. High-powered offense with some defense. Look out. That was the uh, good thing. It was the fullback, and not the halfback. Three hundred forty-one yards passing for Washington. Oh my goodness! The pass, Causey has the seven-yard reception. Oh boy. Take the angle, Malik. Oh, he's just so slow. They're going to throw for 700 yards on us. Boy, oh boy. Hope you guys wanted to see a college basketball score. There is no defense being had here today. Three plays, 80 yards. Oh my goodness. I like back for another one. Highlight up to the 27. Tyler Matthews, the big fullback up the middle. Oh my goodness, what a stiff arm and a truck. Gets it up to the 49 yard line. Let's go Matthews. Gotta get the big fellow the football once in a while. Get some fullback love. And 
Frey is going to be holding anyway. Oh boy, Christian Hart with the hold. Okay. That'll bring up first down and 19. High snap for Hines. Got the roll out, and highlight is wide open. Oh my goodness. He dropped it twice. That should have been a touchdown. Hines, 5'8", 169 yards, zero touchdowns for the ball game. Okay, can I get a block, please? Oh my goodness. Highlight and Hines go to the same EFL team. That'd be cool, but I'm pretty sure they're both going to go in the first round. And Jukes McGee. Oh my goodness, they're going to really let him run all the way to the 42-yard line. Wow. Unreal. Quasi Sands on for a 59-yard field goal attempt. He's got a 60-yarder in his career. Sands field goal is up, and it's just short. And that's going to end the first half. 42-31, Jacksonville, number five team in the land on top of the Elkhorn State Braves. Unfortunate that we missed that. Real unfortunate. Tackle him. Thank you. Our next ball game. After the, we should see there's a clipping call. Okay. Tomorrow night, Northern Arizona is going to travel to take on the 14th ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds in our second to final game of week number nine. So... Stay tuned for that one tomorrow night, guys. Should be a good one. Bruh. What did you miss? Uh, you missed zero defense being played. This quarterback is going to throw for 700 yards on us. Why did my graphic not get off the screen? Anyways, for those that missed that play. that That's exactly what happened, guys. That's a feels bad. And there's a nice hit by Devin Rambo. I'm not sure why my graphics stayed up when I hit the button to close it out, but you know, whatever. Technical difficulties. Good thing there's an instant replay button. make you miss anything Tyler I just showed you the replay what are you talking about 492 yards passing my goodness third down and goal from the nine yard line four receivers set for Washington and he caught that oh my goodness what a catch was that Livingston again? Wow. 
This is unreal, guys. And it's now 42-38. Went 90 yards in 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Quarterback has 500 yards passing on us. Highlight up to the 42 yard line. All right. This is like a Big 12 game. Get away from me. Oh, nice tackle. Hines gets the first down, though. Over the century mark for the game. Three touchdowns. Who's, who's the daddy to Jacksonville secondary? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's been a little rough. It has been a little rough. Oh, my goodness. Michael Hines is gone again. His fourth touchdown on the ground in the ball game. Touchdown, Jacksonville. There's zero defense being played in this game. Scared to go back on defense, guys. I'm terrified. Oh boy, I got wrecked. Nice tackle. Love the dolphin sound. I'm glad you love it, man. I think it's great. Paid five bucks for that sound. There we go. We got him. Is that Allen? No, that was Frank Frazier. Let's go. Turnover may win the game. Yes, sir. Have we had a turnover yet in this game? Oh, we got one right here, Montgomery! And he returns it to the eight yard line. Oh my goodness gracious, let's go. Filling in for the suspended Marcus Pedersen, Montgomery gets the pick. Money's worth with all the scores. Yeah, kinda. It's definitely getting a good use out of it. Tyler Matthews, the big fullback, gets it up to the four yard line. How's William the Cat doing? He's doing pretty good. He's somewhere. I think he's in uh, one of my kids' rooms. Just chilling. Three trips to the red zone, three touchdowns for the Dolphins. At this rate, the game will be over tomorrow morning. <laughs> Kinda. And Hines is in for his fifth touchdown on the ground in the ball game. And here it is again. We got the 50 burger. Ron Kemp spoke that turnover into existence. Yes, sir.
Very lovely two-play seven-yard drive. Took 32 seconds off the clock for the touchdown. Quasi Sands boots it. About six yards deep in the end zone. Let's see how the quarterback responds. That was the first turnover of the ball game. Good pass over the middle. Johnson has it. Eight yard reception for him. And Zane Williams is in the zone. First time he's in the zone in the game after coming off of suspension for the first half. And Sims with a deflection. Got ourselves a third down and two situation for the Braves. They are six of eight on third downs in the game. Goal line set. And they're gonna go play action. And Montgomery with the deflection, let's go. And Ryan Richardson, sophomore defensive end, has injured himself on the play. Hopefully he can return to the ball game. Because that would just be no bueno. We didn't see him again. Mr. Highlight back to return. The most deadly sentence in all of the FCS. And a good punt. Keeping the ball away from Highlight, that's very smart on, on their part. He does have three touchdown returns on the season on just 14 attempts. Jacksonville starts to drive their own 31-yard line. T-Roy Gaines in at halfback. They're going to give it off to him. T-Roy up the middle. T-Roy Gaines inside Brave territory. Too many weapons on this offense. Look at the offense. Oh my goodness. And Tyler Matthews breaking another tackle. And Dennis Williams injured his leg on the play for Elkhorn State, one of their defensive linemen. Players just dropping like flies this week. It's no bueno. Alright, second down and seven. Deep shot. To highlight, back of the end zone. He's got it, but he's out of bounds. So close. Oh my goodness. Williams out for two quarters, so the rest of the game with a pulled hamstring. Quick, oh, nice deflection, man. Oh my goodness. He broke on that fast. Hines is in the zone at quarterback. Fourth down at seven. And Hines will have the first down up to the 35, but there's a flag for holding. Of course there is. And now we will punt it away. Marvin Joseph, livid, livid, I say, on the sideline. All right, Dalton Hayes on for the punt. Sophomore punter. And a pretty good kick. And we have no coverage downfield. Oh, boy. Let's get him, Zane. Nice tackle by... I think that was Christian Hart on the stop at the 18-yard line. Second punt of the ball game for either team. Good 
Pass over the middle. Smith has it. Maybe five yards. Got Malik Bean on single coverage here with the tight end. That could be rough. And he's going to throw it. Left side, it's caught by Livingston. Look out. Oh, my goodness. That guy's a beast. 217 yards receiving on six catches. Three touchdowns for him. Wow. You know what's crazy? I don't think Michael Hines has a touchdown pass this whole game. But he has five on the ground. Unbelievable. Oh, boy. What just happened with my controller? <laughs> oh, boy. My guy stopped backpedaling and he ran forward. Unbelievable. This quarterback's going to throw for a million yards in this game. That's unfortunate. Not sure why my, my guy just kind of jumped forward right there and then I couldn't move back. That's what feels bad. But we're still up by 11 points. You go gains from two yards deep in the end zone. Gets to the outside. Gets a block. T-Roy Gaines down the left sideline, and the young freshman is gone. Touchdown, J.U. Get some new controllers. Listen, Marvin, they work well sometimes. I made it up for it. Don't hate. Both kick returners have touchdowns in the ball game now. Oh, I got leveled. I got called timeout. The entire secondary is gassed. Marvin Joseph Jr. is in there as strong safety. Okay. Let's see what you got, freshman. Two star cornerback playing for his old man out here. Oh, that's deflection. Okay. pickup of maybe one yard for Smith. Devin Rainbow is injured again. Second time in this game. Third down and nine. Quick pass. Get him, Barnes. Nice stop by the freshman linebacker. Let's go. Huge tackle. And Mr. Highlight to return it. From his 13. Doesn't get much. Maybe five yards. And Gaines 
Jones is going to lose a yard here on the halfback slam. And that, we are going to let the third quarter wind down, guys. And again, our next game, this is going to be tomorrow night. The Northern Arizona Lumberjacks travel to Cedar City, Utah to take on the 14th-ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds in our second to final game here in Week 9. That should be a crazy game, as all of the Pac-10 games usually are. Pac-10, of course, is led by San Diego currently. Kind of weird, but, you know, it happens. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. Dolphins on top, 63-45 over the Elkhorn State Braves. All right, second down and 11. And Hines going to take off. Gets up to the 25-yard line. Brings up third down and three now. Hart in the zone at tight end. Throwing it up to him. And he's got it down to the 41-yard line. Perfect throw from Michael Hines. Be able to run some more of this clock out now. to Tyler Matthews, big fullback here. He's had a couple nice runs tonight. And he's going to have another one here as he plows over the linebacker, picks up nine yards. Rambo will return. Just a bruised elbow for the sophomore linebacker. Ice up, son. Ice up. Speed option, Jukes McGee, let's get it. Or Michael Hines will score again. Touchdown, J.U. That is his sixth touchdown run of the game. 20th, 20th of the season. Oh my goodness. Oh, that juke was nasty. The spin was even nastier. How do you defend him? Somebody let me know in the chat. How do you do it? And that, my friends, is the 70 burger. Quarterback with six touchdown runs. That is outrageous. And you know, I did not set out to do that this game. It's just... What happened? <laughs> oh my goodness. Get him, Marcus. Okay, good tackle. Let's go. And now he's injured. Why? Why is everybody under the sun getting injured this week? Unbelievable. He's dead. Quick pass left side. Allen Davidson takes a bad angle, and Jordan is going to pick up nine yards. Dislocated shoulder for Barnes is out for the rest of the ball game. Probably for the best, but only to come back in and you know get even more injured. And now Parker Palmer. He just wanted to snuggle with the left guard. So many injuries, so little defense. I know. You don't have to remind me about it. Come on now. There's only so much you can do when you don't have a lot, um, a lot of speed. Oh my goodness. Nice tackle from Palmer on Brown as he picks up one yard. Second down and nine now.
Nice deflection by Montgomery. Looked like it bounced off his shoulder pad. That's going to bring up third down and nine for the Elkhorn State Braves, who are down by 25. A six of ten on third downs. I think they were six of six on third downs at one point. Could be wrong on that. Whatever. It's fine. Deep shot. And Montgomery's got another. And he's going to get it up to the 46-yard line. And I think that one's going to put this one away for the Dolphins. This is the second takeaway of the ball game. Picks up three yards as we get the clock going again. Montgomery got more picks than tackles. I know, he's balling out. You'd love to see it. Let's get 80. Okay, JP. I see you. Hines in the zone. For the Dolphins. Hines will get it up inside the 30-yard line. 217 yards on the ground. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, brother. Take it easy, man. Hines still in the zone for Jacksonville. Christian Hart inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Dolphins. Matthews in motion, left side. Hopefully he gets that block. Nope. He ran straight to the back of the end zone. Feels bad. All right, second down and goal from the 11. Hines in the zone again. Too easy. His seventh touchdown run of the game. Unreal. When was the last time a quarterback had seven touchdown runs in the game? If ever. Who says a quarterback needs to throw the football? 77 to 45 here in Jacksonville, Florida. Dolphins cruising here in the fourth. Once we got that first interception, I mean, that was pretty much the end of it. Twenty-one touchdown runs on the season now for Michael Hines. Hines can throw a touchdown pass and let him sit the rest of the game. I like it. Good pass over the middle. Montgomery makes his second tackle of the ball game. Tying his interception total. I think this is the fourth time the Dolphins have scored 70 points this season. Third. Deep shot. Double coverage. Incomplete. 14 hurries, only two sacks for the front seven. 
Heisman. He, he very well could be, JP. He could be. Get him. All right, first down. Oh, my goodness. Nice, powerful run from Smith. Seven touchdown runs. That's just insane. Toss play. They're going to let him throw it. Oh, what was that? What was that jump? Come on. Running back just threw a touchdown. Their running back has more touchdown passes this game than Michael Hines. Worst jump animation of all time. The absolute worst. Alcorn State puts up the 50 burger on the Dolphins. Over 120 points scored in this game. Guarantee they'll do an onside kick here. McCray gets the return up to 49. Defense is going to be running laps all week. I guarantee it, Harvard. I guarantee it. Deep shot. Mr. Highlight. One on one. He's got him. Touchdown, Jacksonville. His only touchdown pass of the game. Young Viking in the chat. What's going on? You doing college basketball scores? Kind of. Zero defense being played in this game. Just none. Absolutely none. Oh, you're not going to make Montgomery run laps? <laughs> well, he does have the two picks, but... Yeah, at least make him run a couple of laps. Frank Frazier, or not Frank Frazier, that was Zach Allen. It's been a minute, it sure has, man. How you been? Both teams still have all their starters in. There's so many people to cover back here. 461 yards passing to the right. Oh, baby. That's rough. I'm going to call a timeout. Defense is gassed again. Hines played the game for Jacksonville. Washington obviously played the game for Elkhorn State. 637 yards passing. Five touchdowns. Ridiculous. What is this play? It's a broken play, and Parker Palmer drops from Washington for a big time loss of six. 31 tackles, two sacks for the sophomore on the season. Not bad at all. Get back on offense to Hines. Sit. I got you, Marvin. Well, there's Zane Williams <laughs> with the interception. Oh, you heard the man. Got to get Alexander Connor in there, get some playing time. Plus seven Hines overall. I am so surprised. I'm not. I'm really not. Heroy Gaines up the middle. Heroy Gaines to the 15. Oh my goodness gracious. Flex on him, son. Flex on him. Five attempts in the red zone, five touchdowns. And off 
offsides by the Braves. Just trying to pay off your car note as early as possible. I like it. Possibly the final play of the ball game here. Connor under seven. And Alexander Connor is going to walk in. Eight touchdown runs for the quarterbacks of Jacksonville. Oh my goodness. How many 90 burgers have the Jacksonville Dolphins scored in their history? That's what I want to know. Six trips to the red zone, six touchdowns for the Dolphins. That interception from Montgomery completely changed this game. Nice tackle by Walters. Picks up six yards. Possibly one more play. Backups are now in for the Braves. And they will not snap it. The final score is 91 to 52. Jacksonville on top of the Elkhorn State Braves here in SEC play in Jacksonville, Florida. It's only the second 90 burger they've scored, Jay? That's crazy. I feel like it's been more. They just score at will. It's ridiculous. Well, let's take a look at the stats. The insane stats. Both teams go over 700 yards of offense. They did it quite differently. Alcorn State, 707 passing yards combined for the quarterbacks. Uh, 277 through the air for Jacksonville. 436 on the ground for the Dolphins. Three turnovers in the game. Three interceptions. 1,124 yards total for Jacksonville. 964 for Elkhorn State. Wow. So over 2,000 yards combined. Unbelievable. Three touchdowns in every quarter for the Dolphins, except for the fourth quarter, they scored four. It was a really good back and forth ball game. And then we got to the third quarter and it was still close for a second. And then the Dolphins just kept scoring more and more and more. What a game. Got to work on that pass defense just a little bit. I think we'll get Marcus Pedersen back for the next game. So we'll be all right. 277 yards passing for Hines, one touchdown, no picks, 61% on the game, and one sack. 223 yards rushing for the quarterback, seven touchdowns. Nelson McCray, two carries, 94 yards and a touchdown. Ridiculous. McGee had a touchdown. Nolan Connor had a touchdown as well. Two more gains, 36 yards. Tyler Matthews, 40 yards for the big fullback, five broken tackles for him. Check their points per game. It's... I think it was near 70 for this season. Highlight in his return from suspension. Gets a touchdown catch on four catches. 165 yards. He also had a kick return for a touchdown as well. And a pancake. Malik Bean, seven tackles. Very nice, very nice. Six tackles for a loss for the defense, two sacks, and three interceptions. And a 
bunch of deflections today. I mean, Alcorn State, they were just throwing it every play. It was insane. Only two yards rushing for the Braves. Wazzy Sands missed a 59-yard field goal attempt, but it was 13 of 13 extra points and also had five touchbacks on 14 kickoffs. Dalton Hayes, one punt, 42 yards for the sophomore, and it was down inside the 20-yard line. Mr. Highlight and T. Roy Gaines both had a 103-yard kick return for a touchdown in the game. And Mr. Highlight, only one part return, five yards. Let's take a look at the players of the game. Washington, 637 passing yards. Livingston with three touchdown catches. Jordan with two. Hines, Highlight, and Gaines, players of the game for the Dolphins. And our next game, of course, is right there. It's going to be Northern Arizona Lumberjacks at the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. And I'm going to see if, you know, we can get Nicholas Hall back on track here at quarterback for the Thunderbirds. He's had a rough go of it this season. A little bit of a sophomore slump. Quite a few interceptions. I think he's got double digits or he's really close to double digits already. And I think he only threw six or seven all last season. So I'm going to try to rebound with them. They're 5-2 and two on the season. Lumberjacks are 3-3. Three and three. Should be a fun game. It's a rivalry. It's a Pac-10 showdown. Pac-10 is insane. And I'm looking forward to that one. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow night, guys. Until then, take it easy.